Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome back my dear friends, a very good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all of you wherever you are in this part of the world. And as you know this is the DADM2 which is data analysis and decision making 2 course under the NPTEL MOOC series. And we are in the last class for the 11th week and this total course duration as you know which I, which I tell before I start of the lecture is for 12 weeks which is actually of 30 contact hours which gets converted into 60 lectures because each lecture is for half an hour and each week we have 5 lectures and after each week we have assignments. So, with this end of this lecture you have will have the 11th week assignment and then uh, next week you have the 12th week the last course the, for the wrapping up. So, if you re, and uh, my good name is Raghunandan Sangupta from the IME department at the IIT Kanpur. So, if you remember we were discussing about the concept of artificial immune system, the concept of, of positive selection, negative selection and how the general concept of antibodies, antigens and pathogens basically are the building block, the ideas are the building block based on which the artificial immune system can be built up. And we will further discuss that with an example either today or in the next class which will be in the first lecture of the, the 12th week. So, for the general framework for the AIS which is the artificial immune system is a representation for the components of the system is very essential which means a set of mechanism is to be evaluated such that the interaction of the individuals with the environment and each of each other can be made. So, if you remember uh, they can be primary and secondary reactions or, or the fighting mechanism in the primary one. Uh, and pathogens come and the antigens or the good cells combine them and in the secondary one depending on some prior information set these cells are ready to fight the, the invading um, virus or the bacteria. The environment is usually simulated, uh, simulated by a set of input stimuli, stimuli can be either uh, high temperature, low temperature, cough and cold so on and so forth based on which the, the stimulus occurs for the replication of the cells. In a set of input stimuli one or more fitness functions could be utilized in place of the, of the stimuli in the actual utilization or other means can be also utilized. A procedure for the adapt, ad, adaptation that govern the dynamics of the system that is how its behavior will, will vary or, or evolve with time would also be briefly discussed and analyzed. Now, whenever you are trying to basically find out the best fit state function and how the replication can be done or how good or bad the solutions are with respect to what you want to achieve whether maximize, minimize or want to basically have some combination of them, we will basically have different concepts of distance functions. So, distance functions can be quadratic, can be L1 norm, can be L3 norm, can be in infinite norm, can be Bhattacharya distance, can be in, in from the point of view of statistics, can be Hamming distance. So, all these things can be compared. We for our problem in this case when you are trying to solve the problem we will consider the Hamming distance for our discussion. So, representation would be done by a vector, vector of size of say for example L, L would be all the components, individual components based on which the characteristics of the representation of the, the similarity dissimilarity can be done. So, it will describe the interaction between the molecules, molecules means the uh, like say for example, there are attacks happening from 3 different types of viruses and we will consider each virus has some characteristics based on which the fighting WBCs would be built up so, and consider the distance function or fitness function based on which we will try to build up the model is 4 in number. So, the first virus would have 4 such ma matching to be done similarly for the second one and the third one. So, it describes the interaction between the molecules and the degree of binding or the affinity between the molecules will also be based on this fitness function. For the fitness function if you remember I had considered the concept of distance measures and I did mention what are the distance measures like the L1 norm, L2 norm, L3 norm, L infinity norm and all these things. And we will basically have a threshold 
based on which we will try to find out how close or far the fitness function is. It need not be the fit, fitness function fit is the best, they may be error like epsilon errors, but what is the value of epsilon based on which we will take a decision yes, this is a good fitness function and we should proceed or, or no, it is not a good fitness function based on the uh, tolerance limit we should not proceed, we will basically, we should basically be able to say that beforehand before we analyze the problem and base and, and based on that we build our methodology of AIS. So, generally the basic immune models and the algorithms are based on the negative selection algorithm, positive selection algorithm. What are these? If you remember in the last class, in the 54th class I did mention that in the positive and the negative we start with the bad set and build up the on that and in the in the positive in the negative selection we start with the bad set and build up on that and in the positive selection we build start with the good set and build up on that. Clonal selection would also be considered where the replication of the, the cells or replication of the so called uh, algorithms or the optimization problem would be built up on a set of, of say for example, a seed. Seed means the, when you start of a, um, a, a, a random number generation or say for example, you want to generate some numbers, you basically start with the seed or the value based on which you will build up those values. So, based on a seed you will basically try to replicate how good or bad cells can be built up such that your fighting mechanism can be built up. In this case, the fighting mechanism is basically how close or far it is from the fitness function. And the immune network models would also be built up based on this negative selection, positive selection and clonal selection algorithms. Now, this, uh, this uh, negative selection problem will take the general formula, uh, idea from Forrester's uh, forest paper in 1994. So, the process, I will just give you the general process how it works. So, the process basically works on the idea that you will basically have a matching set. I will describe the matching set later on, but so you will basically have a matching set. So, the what is the matching set? I am going to come to that later. And some generated candidates are coming. So that means, generated candidates means I have a a cell which wants to fight and then the attack is happening from the external sources. So, this we will consider the, as the generated candidates who come, I match, I find out if the matching is good. In that case, viruses are coming, my antibodies are there, my antigens are there, antigens fight, they find the matching is good, they club together, deactivate each other and they become dead. That is process, that is what, what was the general idea. So, in this case, once the generated candidates comes and what you do is basically, you consider a self, self means the type of WBCs which is going to fight. So, in this case, what you will do is that you will basically have a so called generated initial solution. So, that would basically be the self. And the candidates who are coming are basically the different type of um, uh, feasible um, regions of the solution space which you will consider that whether they are good or bad. So, you will basically consider a self uh, type of solution which you think is good. That is good or not that is a different question. You think that is good based on the prior set of informations and you basically try to compare that, that solution which you had with the generated solution which are coming from the feasible set. If they match you throw them away, if they do not match you basically put them in a separate set which is basically denoted by S. So, initially S is an empty set, null set and you try to basically keep those elements in, in this set. So, what is happening is in general negative solution means that I will throw away the so called good ones and keep the bad ones. So, in the process as I do the, the, the solution which are thrown away obviously would be the set of solutions amongst which I will get the best solution. So, this basically I am trying to go in a negative direction. Negative direction means by trying to do away with the solutions and basically choose one among those. So, once the, the this, this set has been developed, the detector set has been developed, we will basically match those detector set with the existing solutions. And so, detector sets are the negative ones, remember that. So, we will basically match the competence level or the closeness level of the of the dejector ones and obviously, it will be as far as possible based on that we will try to replicate and get 
how such solutions can be detected and made more in numbers as that the solutions which are being rejected in the negative solution algorithms would slowly build up such that we are able to use the best amongst the negative set of solutions which are which is the so called best optimum solutions. Now, in the positive selection procedure, the method is just acts um, happens in the in the other way. So, how it is does it done? So, we basically take a matching set. Again, the sets of solution generator candidates which are coming are are mapped, but now if they match we put them in that S set. Initially we were putting only the bad, bad elements in the S set, now we will put the good elements in the S set and throw away the bad ones and based on the detector set which has been basically which was S which builds up with the good values, we now basically replicate the problem in exactly the same way as we have done in the previous case for the negative selection algorithm. So, in the negative selection algorithm we keep in the detector set the bad solutions and in the positive selection algorithm we keep in the set as the good solutions and based on that we replicate and find try to find out the solutions. I will come to the example in, in few minutes. Now, in the clonal selection algorithm the process will build up. So, how does the process build up? So, this is if you remember the clones would be build up or they would be generated in such a way that in the initial problem in the actual medical concept we said that they should be built up such that they are able to fight the pathogens which will be coming to attack the system or attack the body. So, we will try to basically replicate the same replicate the same concept in order to build a solution set in a much better way. So, the initial populations of the memory set or the set based on which we will try to replicate would be be considered and we will basically clone them that means, we will have a in infinite sets of such near optimum not near optimum solutions near feasible solutions all feasible, but they are basically competitors to each other they would be uh, build up and added to the population. So, once you select a memory cell and, and place in the memory pool. So, say for example, you increase the population increasing the population means that you are trying to replicate it as close as possible to the probability distribution function of the population or the prop 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 probability mass function of the population. And based on that you will basically um, uh, you will you replace as you are replacing them you are replacing the less affinity ones man, that means, the ones which have the least matching. So, as you do that you basically build up a population which have the almost the same characteristic based on which you can replicate and find out the best solution in the best possible manner. That means, you are slowly building up your population doing away with the ones which are further away from your actual population and basically build up a solution which are near optimum optimal and based on that you can build up your model. Now, we will basically try to consider Hina case a problem in the area of finance. So, to give a brief background, so we will use the concept of negative selection algorithm, positive selection algorithm, clonal algorithm, use the concept of antigens, antibodies, pathogens and how they can be utilized in trying to basically build up a very simple directing model in the area of finance. So, in, in, in generally bankruptcy prediction models we have different type of models which have been developed starting in the 1960s. The main person who are the, are the, uh, the, the, for, the frontier person in the area of building up such models was by the name of Altman. So, Altman basically proposed the Z score in the 1960s and there were other other scores also de developed by Altman and his set of researchers one was the Zeta model which is now used as a trademark by many of the banks. Then you have the also score which is the O score then you have again another Altman's model which is the emerging market model where the models were more specific to the in emerging market as, as the economy developed. You have the Zavrgen model. Zimzewski models and all these things are part and parcel of the bankruptcy predictions model. And they uh, are all mathematically in nature and starting from 1960s to 1980s and 1990s the models were developed in a big way. So, these are all statistical methods in general. Now, we want to basically utilize the concept of AIS to build up a prediction model of bankruptcy and compare our model with respect to any of the existing models like the Altman 
or the zeta model or the Olson scores or the emerging market scores and all these things and see how good or bad our models are with respect to the general sample we are going to take to predict the uh, bankruptcy. Now, here what is the main idea for our problem is to basically the problem is basically to distinguish between the self and the non-self that means the good and the bad companies or the bad or the good companies be depending on how you have been able to define the concept of negative selection and positive selection. So, the problem would be to basically detect the sick companies from the non-sick companies or the non-sick companies from the sick companies depending on how you as I just mentioned few seconds back you are which model you are going to use in order to build up the, the, the detection um, uh, algorithm. So, the metaphor for our example would be sick companies can be considered as the antigens and the non-sick can be considered the self cells which will basically replicate uh, themselves in order to basically give a much better prediction how the good companies are doing based on many of the parameters. So, obviously, the question will come that what are the parameters we will consider to build up our model. So, in the bankruptcy prediction methodology the concept would go like this, you select a sample of companies consisting of both sick and non-sick companies. So, it will basically be both. Now, there should be a choice of explanatory variables of the set of indicators which will be utilized to represent how good the bad the company is with respect to is whether it is going to fail or not fail. So, the parameters can be the assets, can be the market share, can be the balance sheet variables, can be the depreciation value can be the amount of loan the company has taken, can be the stock market, can be the land prices, can be the ratio of the sales to total assets, they can be different things. So, in general in, in accounting, uh, we have about 14 ratios based on which we can analyze how the company is doing good or bad. Apart from that, as I mentioned the market share concept, the concept of stock prices, all this can, can be utilized to predict how good or bad the company is doing in, in the in the coming days and how it will do in the in the future. Now, there should be a choice of as I said there, there should be a choice of explanatory variables sets of indicators to represent the firm's optimization mo model with constraints which differentiate the companies which are good from the bad and these variables should be such that they would be able to give us a much better idea. So, what we will do is that we will basically make a binary classification system. So, that would be there would be two classes. So, one of the classes would be sick, another classes would be non-sick companies, point one. Point number two is that say for example, all these 14, 15 ratio we consider, we will basically have a distance measure and try to find out how good or bad these distance measures are when you basically compare one of those parameters or any one of the characteristics based on which we can analyze whether the company is doing a good or bad. So, I am not saying that oh, there would be only one characteristics there would be 14 to 15 different ratios, we will try to compare these ratios individually and then try to basically find out the best combination which will give the set of class which are good and the set of class which are not good, that means sick and not sick. We will generate a set of directors using the AIS concept of selection as I mentioned. So, those mapping would be done for the ratios onto the, the AIS measuring scheme or the distance scheme. We will monitor the test data and use the directors to monitor or classify the companies into the of the um, co companies into a test data set depending on the fact whether we are going to take the negative selection algorithm or the positive selection algorithm. In the negative selection algorithm, it the process will work like this. So, we will define the set S which constitutes the group of non-sick companies that means who are good. Based upon the negative selection algorithm, generate a set of directors A. So, directors means what are the variables based on which we will study. So, these will be responsible to identify all the elements that do not belong to the self set or the non-self non elements which are there. You will generate random elements M of the string of length L using the representation adopted. You will compare and match the candidates element M with the elements in S. They compare them how good or bad they are. If the distance of the candidates elements m with at least one element in s is greater than the crossover or the, or the threshold value r1. So, it can be r1, r2, r3, r4 depending on how, how you have been able to represent that. Then a mismatch would be said to be have to have occurred and this element m is stored in the detector set a otherwise it will be rejected. So, this is the negative one in the other case positive one it will just be the opposite. You will repeat step 2 to 3 until the required number n of detectors have been generated and after generation of the set of detectors A, the next set of algorithm consist would be consisting of monitoring the system for the presence of 
non self patterns as that how good or bad the repetition would be in the future. So, this is the actual negative selection algorithm which we which will be utilized. So, the input set would be the set of S consist of reactivity threshold or the number of detectors required which would be of length L and the length of the string based on which we will do the comparison L L number. So, these are all numeric values. So, the output what you want to do is that basically have a non empty set A which would basically consist of the detector set. So, generally we will take the, uh, the, the number of detector starting from 0. So, you put d, j is 0 and continue to doing that for each and every comparison till j is n. Now, you will consider that m as the random variables and we will basically compare the distance function between m and s. So, m is basically the, the set where we will try to basically put these detectors and non-detectors depending on the negative the positive selection and s would be the comparison set and if that and you will obviously have a distance function. So, if m and s elements have a distance function greater than less than you will basically put those values from the m into the s set or the or outside the s set depending on whether the matching is less than equal to some epsilon value for the distance or greater than that. So, you will continue that then you will basically increase the j to j is equal to 0 to 1 again compare for all follow all the steps and continue doing that till you exhaust all the values of j. Now, we will basically find out the modified negative selection followed by the positive selection mod model. So, what you are trying to do is basically you are trying to replicate that first you do the negative one then you do the positive one. Now, there is a there is a reason for that reason being that I um, will I will just talk about here before I proceed. Say for example, I am trying to detect a, a company which is good. So, I do not know the actual whether the company is good or bad, but I think based on the um, variables I want to basically pass some judgment. Now, it may be possible that that company even though it being, being good, it can be clubbed as a bad set. So, that means, there is an error. On the other hand, a company is, is bad and I know that and, and technically should be bad such that there is no error, but it may be possible that the bad company is clubbed as good. So, in this both the cases we have a type of errors which are known as alpha and beta and which is basically I am taking from the statistical point of view. The general concepts it, it would be that trying to basically minimize both alpha and beta separately is not possible. So, what we will try to do is basically try to analyze the error such that the sum of the errors of alpha plus beta would be minimum. So, when you are trying to do that you will basically have the type 1 and type 2 error under the concept of H naught and H A which we have already done on in DADM 1. So, once that value of alpha and beta is given we will try to minimize that. So, generally the concept is done in such a way that the minimization is done keeping beta fixed we basically try to minimize the values of alpha as far as possible. So, this is the general concept which we will try to fo basically follow for our case. Now, in, in the positive selection algorithm what as the thing which you have done for the negative selection is basically do the negative way or the distance function being matched such that we put away which are not matching in the other set, but in the positive set we will try to basically follow that we will club those which follow as soon as close as possible we will put in that set and require and then basically try to match them as close as possible. So, in the general formulation which we are going to do is that we will first run the, the negative selection algorithm then the positive selection algorithm and in the other way we will basically run the positive selection algorithm then run the negative selection algorithm. So, with this I will close this uh, 11th week class and start discussing about the problem in the, the first class of the, the last week and hopefully with the end of AIS which would happen in the 56th class we will be able to cover another one or one and a half topics in the area of metaheuristic techniques. Have a nice day and thank you very much.